What would your most loyal follower, Luisa, say about that? Uh, who? Luisa, the girl from Campo Morada. Uh, all right. A gentleman never tells, but she was a most wonderful... Uh, I just say she was incredible. Yes. Let me tell you something. I strongly recommend her. You take her when you have the chance, my brother. <laughs> she thinks she's your wife. My wife? These peasant girls, they believe every word a fellow says. So naive. It's really quite charming. I love peasants. Don't you love peasants? I love them. They have such purity. Are you gonna marry her? Ha! Marry a peasant? My dear boy, don't be absurd. I'm going to be the next president of Mexico. My wife will meet ambassadors, kings, other great men. The very thought that I would marry some peasant girl with a tight gun and the hands of a farmer. Well, I really don't think so. My mother, que Dios la cuide, would turn in her grave. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But come on, let's run. I've got an amazing present for you, my brother, huh? Yes, the man you seek. Together, we will bring them to justice. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, mi hermano. This is the day we have both been waiting for. Let's ride, my brother. My men will launch a ruse attack on the side entrance to the fort. Meanwhile, you, my American friend, will drive this wagon at the front gate and jump off when you're close. It's been packed with five crates of TNT. That sounds crazy. How long's the fuse? <laughs> yes, like I say, fun times. It's plenty long enough, I think. I see you in there, amigo. Remember to jump, my friend. Mexico, 
lindo y querido. The army. The suffragettes is more frightening. Uh, good to see you. 
I heard you was coming. You took your time, no? Come on, you're not gonna shoot your own brother, are you? We was family. Yeah, we were. Then you and Dutch went crazy and family didn't mean so much. <laughs> so now you do the government's work. And what do you do? You just work for a different government. <laughs> Come on, brother. I think we should go our separate ways, huh? What you and Dutch did was wrong. And the way you left me was wrong. Now, I hate to judge, but as it turns out, it's you or me. The way I see it, might as well be you. We thought you was dead, brother. I promise. I'm telling the truth. Besides, I can give you Bill. In Dutch, Dutch is in Colombia. I can take you straight to him. Hmm? If you left me to die, whoa. to save your own skin, and now <laughs> you expect me to care whoa, about whoa, you? You got it all wrong, brother. I've always loved you. Even now. Go back to your farm, John! Christ alive! You should have killed me years ago when you had the chance! Army send reinforcements. Come. The army is me. coming. Get up there and man that cannon. Two old friends reunited. It is a beautiful thing. Mr. Marston, fancy seeing you down here. Well, it is a pleasant surprise, I must say. He's not looking very healthy. We told you to keep them alive. You should be glad to have him at all. Just remember your obligations to the government, Mr. Marston. 
We need you to find Williamson, then head to Blackwater as quick as you can. We have reason to believe that uh, Dutch Vandalind is in the area. Your wife sends her regards. <laughs> Unless you want this town to tear you and your boys to shreds, I suggest you let him go. And you think you could tell me what to do, friend? <sighs> oh, you should listen to him, friend. <sighs> Look at that. You want to risk it? <laughs> the American is a drunk. If I were you, I would, I would pull that trigger. <laughs> Put the gun down, American. Ya, ya, matalo. Dejen mi hombre. Mierda! Huh? Ay, Dios mío. Santa Maria! So you want to settle this now, friend? Or you want me to shoot you in the head right now for that poor girl? Okay, but we fight like men, not like dogs. <sighs> My brother, now the people are finally ready. Today we overthrow the coronel. Senor, there are prisoners in jail who will fight on our side. Can you save them? I will rally the peasants, John. You go after the prisoners. Oh, we need to stop the machine gun! 
shit! He almost got you! What have we got here? We will pass through the door with gunpowder barrels. Wait while we get everything into position. Now go! Hijos de puta! They are running back inside! Adelante! A la mansión! ¡Echen la puerta abajo! There are more coming up the hill. ¡Preparados! ¡Defenden la puerta! ¡No dejen a nadie entrar! Come on, John! Vámonos! Date prisa, cabrón! Come on, John! Let's get to the horses! It's time to stop running, Bill!
you do it? Find my freedom, pendejo. I cut up, you some ape, and get out of the wagon. I'll put it in. I'm coming out. Don't shoot. Here. Take Williamson. Just let me live. I will leave the country, I promise. You always was weak-minded. You're the one who let Dutch drive you insane. Dutch wanted you. Oh, hold right, John. I, I, I'll, I'll come quietly. Adele is dead. Mexico is mine. My people are free, and it is all thanks to you, Joe. And to the people who laid down their lives. People like Louisa. Oh, yes. She, she was very brave, and she will be missed. Who was she again? Your peasant girl wife-to-be? Oh, yes, of course. She, she will have a day named after her. Laura's day! Louisa. What? Oh, yes, I, I knew Laura as well. Magnificent girl. Like riding a pompous bull it was, amigo. You never saw anything like it. Anyway, enough about sport. Let's get back to politics. I trust you will join us in riding on the Capitol. I'd love to, but with Williamson dead, my jailers need me back in Blackwater. Hey, que hacen? Levanten, sing. Well, I must say, I'll miss you, John Marston. I doubt you'll even remember me, Abraham, but it's been an experience. Good luck with the revolution. If you win power, remember why you wanted it. Mm. Well, travel safely, amigo. Come See Mr. Ross? 107, 109. Edgar Ross. 113. Upstairs on the right. 114. 115. 116. 117. Mr. Marston, so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston... You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. No one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Thanks, sir. Like hanging you for murder, or confiscating all your property, like that little farm of yours, or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down and play along with us. Where's my wife? <laughs> you know, I forget, but I hear it's very nice this time of year. <sighs> Mr. Marston, please, I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn, but now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squab or by another lowlife. <laughs> we believe Vanderlyn just holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, <sighs> yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group. Your group. 
has, shall we say, been disbanded. <laughs> disbanded. Anyway, Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston, your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Okay? After you, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, one more thing. This is for you. You're too kind. See, I have nothing but your best interest at heart. Let's hope it doesn't go off by mistake. 343. Three. I, I have a patent for that, sir. This is an outrage. Oh, Mr. Marston. <laughs> You're alive. Hello, Wes Dickens. <laughs> Thought you were headed to Peking. Um, so did I. So did I. A long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Ross, have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. And because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. Come on, Marston. Moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. <laughs> 344, 345, 348, 3. All right, Mr. Fordham, onward. This weather's good. Isn't this something? Lawmakers and lawbreakers working together for the good of civilization. Like you always say, sir, the higher the stakes, the smarter you have to play the game. I can't imagine I ever said anything quite so trite. In any case, I'm not sure Mr. Marston would agree with us. Unfortunately, Mr. Marston isn't broad-minded enough to appreciate the unique opportunity we're offering him. Son of a whore. You best watch your damn mouth! And it's strange you should say that, Mr. Marston, because according to my files, you are the whore's son. Now, what else can I recall from the files? Oh, let's see. Killed hundreds of innocent people. You've robbed at least 40 banks that we're aware of. They told us there was a prize when you got to 50. I'm glad this is all such a joke to you. I want my family. And I'm sure all the men you murdered wanted their families, too. Come now, you're stupid. But you're not that stupid. We both know how this has to be. And it could be all over today. As soon as we find Dutch Vanderlyn, you can go back home and play being a farmer again or whatever else you've been pretending to do for the last few years. First it was Bill, now it's Dutch. After Dutch, it'll be somebody else. Where does it end? It ends when we say it ends. You're in no position to make demands. Like you will. You don't just walk away from that. Buy a few chickens and make it all disappear. You should be dead or rotting in a jail cell by now. We are giving you a chance at new life, a chance at redemption. You can't erase your past, Mr. Marston, but we can. She's running well, sir. Such an elegant way to travel. What do you think of this automobile, Mr. Marston? Slow, but so convenient and reliable. Are you comfortable? No. You see this, Mr. Fordham? The brooding cowboy. There aren't many of these left, you know. A bit of a cliche, admittedly. But still a dying breed, like the buffalo. Just as dumb, but not quite as noble. They move most cows by rail these days, I hear. Not where I'm from, they don't. But you aren't from anywhere. A new dawn is breaking, Mr. Marston. This is the age of the machine. And soon, we'll all be living on the moon. Maybe. This is the future. Anything is possible. Finally, this godforsaken land is entering the 20th century. Prosperity has arrived. In the form of assholes like you. I don't understand you people. The trappings of progress are here for the taking, and you're too stubborn to take them. It's not far now. The old serendipity wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp there. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. And you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't 
Don't try anything stupid. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. Come on, then, Marston. You're with me. Keep quiet and stay close. Yes, sir. Vanderlind is the priority. We go in, take him down, and get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out of line, even once, well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. You tell me. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. That informant better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. It doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with lowlifes. There's someone up there. You go investigate. I'll keep watch here. Over here! I found him! Good God, that's her informant! Gnosis, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap! Shit, Marston! You'll have to carry this man! I don't think he can walk! Oh, Bastard! What? We need to clear a path out of here! Come on, then! Uh, oh, leave! Yeah. No more! Keep moving, Where you coward! Where coming from? Don't come in. My word! What the hell's happening here? I'm In God's name is going on.
Marston, lift this fellow into the back seat. Put him in the car so we can get out of here. Let's go. There might be more of them. They were waiting for us. And Back who is up. this savage? A prisoner? This is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Uh, uh, yes, he does, sir. He's the informant, Nostas. Don't get snarky with me, Fordham. We found him tied up on the boat. Then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws, especially when one of them's an office clerk or social secretary or some such. You shut your mouth! just gave out. Well, fix it, you fool. We need to get this man to a doctor. Of course, sir. It's Dutch's men. Marston, we'll hold them off. Fordham, we'll fix that damn engine. Come on. Any more of them. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. Damn, that was close. We're lucky to be alive. I begin. We should take the Indian to Professor McDougal. See what he can get out of him. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with him. Here we are. Thank God for that. So, this is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. We should tell you something. Indeed. But he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross. Uh, Mr. Fordham? Good day. Good day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDougal, mm -hmm. we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good fellow. What a pleasant surprise, Mr. Marston. An informant just told us some interesting news. Our mutual friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, is about to pay call on his bank manager. What do you say to having a little financial discussion with the fellow?
This way. Let's get up on the roof. We'll have a clear shot at them from there. That door is the only way in and out of the building, so cover it tight. You see those horses to the left by the building across the street? Dutch's boys hitched them there. They'll have to run that way to make their escape. Don't start shooting until they're out in the open. If we spook them, they might retreat back and hole up inside. Don't shoot till I give you the signal. Keep your sights trained on that bank door. Boy, I'm gonna delight in finishing you! Don't shoot till I give you the signal. Someone's coming out. He's unarmed. Hold your fire. Yeah, the way's work. They shot him dead! They're coming out! Gun them down! Got some making a break for it. Get them! Nice to see you, John. Hello, Dutch. How's Abigail? Well, I hope. I ain't seen her for a while. Because you've been chasing me? Let the woman go, Dutch. Of course. Of course. How's your little boy? He ain't so little now. No, oh, he must be what? 15? 16? Doesn't time fly? Don't adjust. It's over, man. Of course. Of course. I surrendered, John. You're the master now. I've been my master since you left me to die. We all make mistakes, John. I never claimed to be a saint, but equally, I never took you for an errand boy. Just trying to help my family, Dutch. By making compromises, we all have to. Now let her go. It's over. You want the girl, John? Huh? 
You always were the romantic sort. You know, gentlemen, this man here, oh, he married a whore. Used to ride with us. We all had her. Oh, but he married her. And you know that makes him a better man than us. He's a better man. Have the girl, John. Easy, Dutch. She's a parting gift from me. No! God damn! Let's get after him! I don't see him! What the hell happened in there? This is your fault, Marston! You got a gun too, Sheriff. You waited too long! Next time I'll just shoot the girl. That's enough! Come on, let's find the bastard! Anna, I went this way! Yeah, Abraham! Best yeah! yeah! Let's just say, Dutch ain't gone and got himself saved. He killed some poor woman. There's an old logging camp further down this road. It's been abandoned for years. My guess is that's where they're headed. Come on, follow me. So that's the great Dutch? What a role model! The man who made you who you are. I guess so. Has he changed? No, still the same crazy bastard he turned into. How was it seeing him after all this time? Did he tug on your heartstrings? He kind of reminds me of you. The violent piece of shit who went and confused himself with God. Isn't that sweet of you? Now you must kill him. Your side is chosen. My side ain't chosen. My side was given. I'd kill you a hundred times before I killed Dutch. If it was an option. Hallelujah! I think we're finally reaching an understanding, Mr. Marston. Who the hell are you fellas anyway? Ball men or army? We are neither, Mr. Marston. But I have the authority over both. There's the car! They must abandon it and continue on foot. Go there! Dutch Marston. He got away. Uh, scared to shoot him? Too much to handle? When the opportunity presents itself, I'll put a bullet in him, don't you worry. Won't like myself for doing it, but I'll do it. Ah, good man, good man. You know, at the end of this, you'll probably get a medal. I know I shall. <laughs> <laughs> 